if they are true, false, or not mentioned in the text. So, the first one, there is a code that connects to the motherboard in the front of hard drive or the hard disk. True, false, or not mentioned in the text. False, very good, excellent. Thank you. So, lots of free programs can test a hard drive. It's not mentioned, Miss, no. Very good, yes, not. Uh, to the hard drive for its storage. True, very good. Uh, the back jump settings define how the hard drive is recognized when the uh, sorry, when more than one is present. True. It's true, yes. Okay. Yeah, it read the otherwise in, in the text, but it's the same. So we said that the first one is for second is not mentioned, the third true, fourth is uh, true. Okay, the five. It's false, very good. Prima, uh, six, when a hard drive is faulted, your computer can run faster. True or false are not mentioned. True, very good. Thank you, uh, Mohant. In exercise B, put the headings below in the text above. So here, each paragraph, you're going to give it a title or a heading. Uh, let's start by um, the first paragraph. One minute. Uh huh. F. Okay. So here we have. Uh, let's say a definition so it's what is yes very good what is a hard the second paragraph b very good uh, physical characteristics, mm -hmm. physical characteristics of, uh, of the hard drive. Mm -hmm. The third paragraph. Let's see how it works. How does it work? Yes. And uh, the following one. 
the fourth Hmm. Storage capacity or kinds of hard drives? It's yes, okay? Kinds of hard drives. Very good. Number five now. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So number five talks about the storage capacity. And six is dealing with the common hard drive tasks, the tasks that are commonly done by um, um, a hard drive. All right. In following exercise, we have, let's, let's say, a vocabulary task. Find the words in the text that go with the definitions. So each definition, um, is referring to a word from the text, all right? So, let's to, to, to do it. Number one, a conversion of something such as data into a code or cipher. Excellent. Yes, very good. Encryption, very good. It's encryption. Number two, to arrange or assemble for use or display. Or let's say arranging or assembling for use or display. Mm -hmm. No, not partition. Mounting, very good, yes. So to arrange or pull for use or display is mounting. Number three, a mechanical device for moving or controlling something. Excellent. It's the actuator. Very good, yeah. Okay. Yes, it's the actuator. Number four, to move in some way that all particles follow circle the common angular velocity about common axis. Very good, yes. It's rotate to rotate. Thank you. Number five, related or associated pieces of data disorganized in a way that makes them more difficult to access.
que é Mm -hmm. But here, uh, uh, but here, when you say fragmentation is the um, is the noun, okay? We're talking about um, uh, an adjective. Into an adjective, Yeah. Fragmented. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Number six. The action or process of ruining or wasting something. Mm -hmm. Destruction. Very good. Yes. <clears throat> Number seven. To reorganize separated fragments of related data, I'm not confused, into contiguous uh, arrangements. Frag, yes, very good. Mm -hmm. And the last is uh, characterized by or subject to rapid or unexpected change. Very thank you. It's volatile. Volatile, the eighth one, all right? Excellent. All right. Um, well, one minute. Following task, we have uh, a conversation between the assistant uh, and uh, Anna. Anna wants, uh, well, a new hard drive, and she. Um, well, she's having this discussion with the sales assistant who's trying to give, like, to give some help. Uh, there are some missing words in the conversation. Must, uh, finish or you must uh, find. And you have some underlined uh, text in this conversation. Excuse me. Just one minute. What? Where is it? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. okay. So let's just try to, uh, to complete the conversation first with the prop words. And then we move to uh, the important part, which is the WH plus. So, 
Assistant, assistant, can I help you with anything? Ah, yes, please. I need a new. Yeah, I need a new hard drive. Very good. Okay, are you looking for an internal drive or an external one? Very good. Well, I need it for movies, yeah. Moving files between home and work. Sure, well, you basically got two options. If you need a lot of... Capacity or secondary stop. Then you could try this. Well, but uh, I think if you need a lot of capacity or secondary storage, I think the primary or secondary storage. Then, yeah. Then you could try this Lenovo external. It's one terabyte. Mm. You can say contains, holds, yes. Very good. Uh huh, holds is correct too. Mm -hmm. One terabyte. That's probably enough to. To back up, to back your whole computer many times over. You'd probably have lots of space left for archive files um, that you don't need uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. This one's $188. That's a little expensive to be honest. And I probably don't need one terabyte. My home computer only has a 120 gigabytes drive uh, and it looks a bit heavy to carry around. Then, uh, in that case, in that case, you need something more light mm -hmm, or Portable, very good, yes. Portable, and something that you can carry and like, can be moved easily, all right? So it's portable. This might be what you're looking for. Uh, the ATM Ultra Portable is only 20 gigabytes, but uh, yeah, that's not perfect. I'll take it. It's already. Uh huh. Is it all that sounds perfect? Is it all the Yes, it's formatted. Very good. Yes, it's already um, it's, uh, all ready to use. Uh, just a couple of things in mind if you're in it between home and work a lot. Uh, inside the drive, there is a stack of metal. Mm, platters, platters, yes, Mohammed. So, of metal platters, 
that are used to store the information. That are used to store the information. Mm -hmm. Number 10. Excellent. Don't move the disc. While the pictures are spinning, you'll be able to hear them. Or drive could suffer a... Could suffer... Yes, very good. Could suffer a head. Could suffer a head. That's when. So here you say that's when read write head touches the disk surface. That's when the read write head touches the uh, disk surface. Right, okay, anything else I need to know? Just a couple of things. You? Very good, you shouldn't. Here, we can't really say must not. Uh, shouldn't is better because uh, in English, we usually use should or shouldn't to give advice, all right? So you shouldn't unplug a drive without using the remove hardware uh, command first. And you? And you should, yeah. And you should check the drive regularly for uh, viruses, especially if you're moving it between machines. Okay, well, Thanks for all your help. Now, where do I go to pay? This is it. Excellent. Exercise for task four, language work. We're talking about questions. Actions on the words and the phrases underlined in the conversation. Try it with, and then we're going to correct it. Uh, I'll be back in a minute. is the um, the compound noun hard drive so what is the well the appropriate question that we can use here to ask about this information uh, 
um, well, here you're not going to ask as if you're having a conversation with Anne or Anna. In this case, yes, you can see what are you looking for, but here you are not the sales assistant. You are just trying to guess the questions or ask questions. What were they talking about? So, very good. What does she need or what does Anna need? So, we use the WH question what in English to ask about things in general. What do you need? Uh, what's your night? What's your job? Uh, what's your name? Um, what do you usually uh, what do you usually do in your free time? Okay, that's it. Okay, who wants to buy a new hard drive? Why do you who here? Ah yes, because uh, thank you. We have Anna, which is underlined too. Okay. So when we want to ask about this, we say, yes, <laughs> we say, who wants to buy a new hard drive? Who wants to buy a new hard drive? Very good. So we use who to ask about person. Excellent. The following one here, uh, well, I need it for moving a uh, file between home and work. Why does the hard drive? Very good. Why does Anna need a hard drive? So here we have the word why, which means um, which means up. All right. We use it to ask about reason. Excellent. The following one. Uh, sure. Well, you've basically got two options. Very good. How many options are there? How many options are there or how many options has she got? All right. Excellent. If you need a lot of uh, this little external drive. Miss, we say, what does, why yes. does Anna need a hard drive or why does Anna need a hard drive? Uh, we say, why does Anna need that without, because when we conjugate the, the auxiliary, it means when we put the auxiliary in the present simple, the uh, must be, uh, or must, must, um, must be used as a stem, okay? We don't, uh, we don't the S of, um, of the third singular, all right? We don't put it in the present simple. We just put it as a stem. The same thing if you are talking in the past. For example, uh, Anna needed a hard drive in the past. When we ask the question, why, why, uh, uh, sorry, why Q. did she need that? Okay? We don't say why did she need it? Why did she need that? This is Okay, mm -hmm. So uh, then you could try this little journal drive. Very good, yes. What type of hard drive can Anna try? What type of hard drive can Anna try? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, it holds one terabyte.
Mm -hmm. Here we are asking uh, the storage capacity. So, what's the appropriate question? You can say, for example, uh, well, what is the storage capacity of, uh, of this hard drive? Or try to use another, yes, uh, sorry, WF question, question that uh, asks about, um, it's very good. How much does the uh, storage capacity hold? Mm -hmm. Or how much information that, is, that uh, it holds? Does it hold? So, how much information does it? Hold? All right. Then the following underlined one is: you have eighty dollars. Uh, eighty dollars. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost? Where? Then uh, we have inside the drive, there is a stack of metal platters. That are used to store information. Oh. Very good. Where is information stored? Excellent. Where is used in English? Ask about uh, to ask about place. Uh, when we come to to talk about how how when it's used alone, we we say for example, how do you spell your name? Uh, how can I can I get to the nearest bus station? Here we we are asking about the manner. Okay, but. Um, but each time we add an adverb or uh, an, an adjective to this word, to how, the meaning will be different. Say how much or how, how many. Uh, here we're asking about quantity. How much for uncountables and how many for count. And for example, when you say how old, uh, how fast, how long, right? Here we're asking about, or how deep, we're asking about different things, all right? This is it. The following one, have, uh, well, while the platters are spinning. the disk while the platters are spinning. When don't you have to move the disk? When don't you have to move the disk? Here we have when, which is used in English to ask about time, okay? I think there is a last one, which is the uh, drive regularly for viruses, especially if you're moving, uh, if you're moving it between machines. Regularly is an adverb of uh, let's see. It means well. Is the in this action? So, when should you check uh, check uh, for via the the drive for viruses? This is it. Uh, well, regularly. Um, Usually, uh, sometimes, often, and so on. Rarely, seldom. All these are adverbs of frequency. 
usually use the question how often to uh, ask about it means how often we do the things how often is the um, is this action repeated this is well i think we have finished with this exercise there is one well so here we have um a conversation, all right. Uh, complete the following conversation about a you with the missing questions. What's the conversation about? Uh, Lintel is a computer chip manufacturing company that um, currently has a job opening finance department. Job Miller is the first applicant to be interviewed by Lintel's finance manager, Mike Gates. Good morning, John. I'm Mike. Good morning. So what's the missing question here? Bear in mind, this is an interview, okay? The answer is, I'm fine, thank you. The question is, how are you doing? Excellent. Uh-huh. Yes. Mm-hmm. The second uh, is well let's read the the answer first I am so glad uh, that the traffic was light this morning no traffic jam no accidents so the question is How was the traffic this morning? Traffic this morning, very good. Yes. So, or you can say, uh, how was it coming over here? Okay. Excellent. Uh, Mike, this that is good. Uh, John, let's start uh, the interview. So John said, yes, I am. Are you ready? Excellent. Are you ready? Yes, I am. First of all, let me properly introduce myself. I'm the finance department manager, as you know, an open position in my department, and I need to fill this position as soon as possible. If you want. John, please. Here, John's asking. And Mike's saying it's an entry level position. Tell me a little about the position. Yes. Tell me a little about the position. Mm -hmm. And Mike said, uh, well, level position, the new employee will have the work closely, uh, to work sorry, closely with the accounting department, will have uh, to deal with the bank on a daily basis, uh, on a daily basis, then Yes, I've required degree in finance. Some work and experience will be helpful. Mm -hmm. Then said. Yes. Hello. He said, you know, office work is good. However, since this is an entry level position, I do not require a lot of experience. I'm willing to train uh, the new person. Yes. What kind of experience are you looking for? Or are you willing? Uh-huh. 
that's great. Mike, John. Then he asked something. I was a student at West Coast University. And uh, yeah, and I just graduated with a bachelor. A bachelor degree in fine. So tell me about yourself. Very good. Or in job interviews, they may say, uh, what are the things that I, I may know of you? Okay, this is it. I was a student at West Coast University and I just graduated with a bachelor degree in finance. So bachelor degree, is, it's like what, what we call here, uh, um, well, license. Okay, uh, I have been working as a payroll clerk for the last two years. Then Mike asked, and John said, the job should help me uh, see what finance is all about. Here you can say, are you looking for in this job? Okay. Or are you willing to get from the job? The job should help me see what finance is all about. I have learned a lot of finance theories at school. And now it's time uh, for me to put them into practice. Then Mike asked and John said, I also hope that will help me grow in my field. What's the possible question here? Very good. Anything else or what else? Excellent. Very good. So hope it will help me grow in my field. Then here you have two questions. John said, I am a hard working person learner. I'm very eager to learn and I get along fine with people. So here he's talking maybe about his skill he say. You can say what are your qualities? Very good. Uh-huh. Or what are your um strengths? What are your strengths? And the second question can be um why do you think should I uh, accept the job? Or why should I uh, hire you? Means give me reasons that can like make me hire you in this job. Uh huh. I get well. Uh, I get along fine with people. Okay, now let me ask you a few quick questions. You do not work in long hours. We have here. Do you? Very good. This is a, a question or a tag question. Very good. Do you? No, I don't. Or I do not. The following question. Yes, I can. When I was going to school, I took quite a few courses each semester while working at last 20 hours, uh, at least, sorry, 20 hours every week and handled that situation very well. So? Can you handle pressure or can you handle extra uh, work? Okay. Very good. Or excessive work hours. Uh, John, yeah, well, 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 well. Uh huh. Then Mike asks a question. I think I have a pretty good understanding of the job. I believe I can handle it with ease and I hope to have the opportunity to for you. Well, 
What is the possible question here? Yes. Yes, you can say any other questions, anything else you want to know about the, the job. Excellent. This is it. John, nice to meet uh, Nice meeting you. Thank you for coming. Nice meeting you too. Thank you for seeing me. This is it. Thank you. All right. Well, in the fifth uh, section, we have... Um, Complete, a clause, complete the following passage with words from the box. Try to do it together quickly. So, um, you have some words in the box. Using these words, we're going to fill the gaps. Access your data from anywhere using cloud storage. Cloud storage is a term that refers to online space. Very good, yes. Space that you can use to store data. As well as keeping Excellent. Keeping backup of your files on physical storage devices such as very good. Such as external hard drives or USB flash drives. Cloud storage provides uh, provides some, uh, secure way to. to remotely store your important data. Online storage solutions are usually provided using a large mm -hmm. using a large network of all ser servers that come with tools for for managing files and organizing your virtual storage space. The simplest type of cloud storage occurs hmm. very good. Upload uh, files and folders uh, on their computers or mobile devices to an internet server. Mm -hmm. Number eight. Excellent. The uploaded files serve cap in case the original files are damaged or lost. Using the server permits the user to download uh, files to another devices to other devices sorry when needed the files are typically protected by mm. but yes very good by encryption and are accessed by the user with login Yes. 
Very good. By login credentials and uh, password. The files are uh, always available to the user as long as the user has an internet connection to uh, the Mm -hmm. So, to view or retrieve them. Excellent. Very good. All right. I think we have finished the, uh, this unit. Well, uh, for the sixth, for the sixth uh, part, uh, here, using the information in the chart, write sentences comparing contrasting optical disks and magnetic disks. So here you're going to write a paragraph where you pair um, uh, the two kinds of disks. Uh, you have a general definition, you have a differentiation and the working, the working of both of them, and the storage uh, capacity of, uh, of uh, each one of them. So uh, try to write, uh, uh, well, a comparative uh, text, or sorry, not a paragraph. Uh, well, try to use um, um, words expressing similarity, uh, like uh, when they they are alike, uh, as well as uh, these kinds of words and try to use the comparative and superlative adjectives as well, right? In the, the paragraph. And try to send if possible. I've been, uh, well, I've been receiving your home uh, since the last uh, time uh, we, we have studied uh, together online. Uh, well, I just want to, uh, to say something. We were asked by our administration to count the these uh, homework this homework or the uh, time you do uh, at home um, as part of your exam to me it won't be like the first semester it was like uh, uh, some additional points that we added to your final english mark this time it will be a part of your exam okay so uh, so maybe it won't be uh, counted on 20. It will be like this way, different tasks that will be ga gathered together. And, um, and at the end of, uh, of this semester, you will be having a final course, but I think it won't be on 20 maybe, okay, or, or so. Try to, uh, for those who didn't, uh, sent their homework yet, please do it as possible. And I'm waiting for this one too, for this uh, comparative uh, paragraph. Well, uh, <laughs> there isn't a deadline.